in terms of just the pace of technology change and how we know infrastructure change and sort of system change that we've dealt with before historically in different points, um, you look at the change here. Um, I wrote that to me this seems like it presents a pretty big challenge to those who have this sort of, well, as Joe Rahm uses this mantra, deploy, 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 research and development, deploy, 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 deploy. In other words, seven deploys in one R&D. And I, I don't know, you know, this is all kind of hypothetical in some ways. And, but does that sound like a rough balance to you that seems appropriate? Um, Achievability in the real world, I mean. I, I think it's more like research and deploy and develop and research and deploy and research and develop and deploy and maybe deploy, deploy, but it's pretty... So uh, there are some things we know how to do now. The, the National Academy on Renewable Electricity that I sent you, I thought was... I, I helped word that also, but we got 40 people to sign off with expert judgment on that, and I thought that was very carefully worded. And it said, with aggressive deployment, we might make 10% of our electricity from renewables by 2020. With even more aggressive and even accelerated dramatic that we might get 20 to 30% by 2035, and we were silent on whether it was 30 or 40 or 45 because we couldn't agree, but everybody agreed that if we were going to get more than half of our electricity in our country from renewables by 2050, we were going to have to do things that we simply don't know how to do today at all and fundamentally change the way that we use, generate, and consume energy. Um, that's co completely in agreement with the California report. And it's different than people who would tell you all that we have all the technology we need, we just need the political will, and let's be done with it. That's not what any technically knowledgeable panel concludes. Okay, I want to move on to one last uh, thread here. So, so you don't fight with me, fight with <laughs> the technically authoritative conclusions of these panels of experts. Right? Um, yeah, so again. Uh, and in fact, I'll, that's what, if I, I'm not, I don't have a dog in this fight, but if I had a dog in this fight, I wouldn't go into a he said, she said with a a commentator whose job it is or isn't to get people to read their columns like lots of people have jobs. There are expert panels that have weighed in on this. And for instance, part of the reason that the National Academy said there are things we don't know how to do is they identified the zero emission load balancing that we simply don't know how to do. If somebody tells you they have a plan as to how to deploy, then you have to ask them, how does your plan technically add up when the National Academy, when the California, when every technical panel says it's not going to work? All right? Now, yeah. here's an example. It's fine to say, I'm going to build a whole bunch of solar thermal towers in my plan, and then, because I'm going to store energy for eight hours, it's done. Well, that's true, except that all the technically knowledgeable panels have pointed out that if there is one cloudy day in the year, you need 36 hours of storage, or you need a big red switch that reads the United States of America on it that you flip. It's not technically credible to have a plan that doesn't bridge these two gaps, at least as far as these panels go. And so if you just deploy, 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 and you don't bridge those gaps, then you don't have a technically credible plan. 